Hey, this is Rick with Mike and Rick Outdoors, and we are out fishing this week at 11 Mile Reservoir near Lake George, Colorado. But I wanted to tell you a little bit about the Seinstech stove fan and how it attaches to the Mr. Heater propane heater and how it was. I was able to stay a little bit more warm last night and uh, it works really well and distributes the heat a little bit better than you would get without it. But before I tell you about it and show you a little more, Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Or we put out new videos. All right, let me turn this uh, camera around and show this uh, to you. And I'll show you how it's set up. It's a real easy setup. But there was, you know, this is where I want some advice from people, from some of you. Because there was a little trick for me to, to get it to work. Uh, but I'll, I'll show that to you. So let me turn this camera around. Well, instead of turning the camera around, I put the heater, uh, the probe, Mr. He Mr. Buddy, or Big Buddy, sorry, it's a Big Buddy heater, uh, up on the bed here so you can see it a little bit better. And then, of course, you can see this um, and what it is. I'll have links in the description below for both of these items. All right, so here's the fan. And it seems to be made of really good construction. It slides into the notches down here on this frame, and uh, it's four four blade fan, and it works really well. Even when I had it on low, it it was turning and blowing. Uh, it blows a little bit more when you have it on high, but I would have been burnt out of here last night if I would have put it on high. Let me just show this to you real quick. I'm gonna get a close up of this frame and how it goes on. Okay, what I want to show you real fast is. You know, there was a little trick for me to get this on and it's not that much of a trick what happened when i first put it on it actually popped off and so it i needed to make it hold better you will notice the the wires here or the metal on the fan they are bent a little bit because this pulled so tight that it pulled this so it's you know sorry it's going to mess your your metal up a little bit on the big buddy heater but what so there's this down here there's this one clip that well i mean I, I i put it in really good uh and i don't know if i even want to take it off so what happens is let me show you the instructions i'm going to have an image of this that i'm going to put on the screen so it's more easy to see so the first thing you do here is this part a it says is you clip you put it around the second bar up here and then this part B is it hooks around the, the third bar or metal piece from the top. Now the part C actually then is longer piece here. It, it then clips around this. Now here's the problem I had. It was hard to get these two pieces, which are the part B's, around the second or third metal bar. And it was, you know, it looks like it's pretty small metal, but uh, pieces of metal. But they're pretty tough but it actually bent these cross bars a little bit to get them to uh, tie down what was even worse though this other one that's really small piece of metal this was the part c it this is what popped off and then the fan fell back against the bar so what i did is i had a pair of pliers and you can see i've messed up the metal here a little bit once i got this on then i took the pliers and i tightened up the metal around it so that now it'll be a little bit harder in fact you saw it already it it it's be really it'll be really challenging for me to get it off but i'm going to leave it like this i'll probably never take this off and even when i store it in a box this will stay on hopefully it stays on because i think this 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 handle sticks up higher so this should be fine the only thing i will take off will be the fan then once you have this metal piece put on here you can see these clips right here and this is bent a little bit, but I, I moved it around a little to make sure it. Uh, I, I got it to fit right. And uh, so then I you put you just slide this in here, and there you go. Now when it sits up straight, that's uh, what it looks, looks like. And uh, you know, the fan starts spinning, and it distributes the heat better around the tent. That's it. I just wanted to show you that and uh, how I, the few things I had to do to make this actually uh, work better. I, I also, I'm going to mention too, this, the part, the part C, this metal piece that connects them, it's straight. 
Well, that's what that was. Well, part of the problem was keeping me from being able to get the ends underneath this this fourth crossbar down. So I bent it so that it sticks out in the middle, and then I was able to, with my pliers, then tighten this up and 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 bring the metal around a little bit so it hooked on better. But I had to bend this in the middle. That's it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Well, it was a very simple setup. I just had to make a few changes so that it didn't fall off again. Well, thanks for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors. Well, Mike and I are getting ready to head out to the lake to uh, do some fishing and catch a lot of trout today. Pretty big sized trout out here in 11 mile reservoir. So besides seeing some good information like this on how we camp better and, and enjoy life out, you know, rather than just the hunting and the fishing and all that, uh, we'd like to bring stuff to you to show you what we do and have found that works better for us. Well, thanks for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. And we'll see you back out here in Colorado in another video soon.